What's going on guys? Cool guy 3 here. So we've had a lot of new guys come into the IR18 um, in the IndyCar series and one of the most common questions we've got so far is how do you guys see you have this massive steering wheel seemingly in front of you you can barely see the tires, you can barely see the wings, how do you judge where you are on the track? How do you drive this car basically with, with especially with a single monitor so um, I'm gonna walk you guys through the proper way of, of getting your camera set up getting your, your field of view set up um, basically the core concept that I want you guys to think of with this field of view and with setting up your camera in general is that your monitor is like a window so imagine driving down the car in the real down the road with a car in the real world and all you can see is bounded by where whatever and wherever your monitor is placed in front of you in your sim cockpit so with that the first thing that you want to do is get your field of view right so the field of view is basically the number of degrees from one side to the other meeting at the point that is your eye so from from your eye to the screen you can see X number of degrees out of the window and what you want to do is you want to match the number of degrees as accurately as possible to what you would be able to see if you had put that a cutout of, of your monitor bounds in your car so for me I have a 21 inch monitor single monitor um, I'm about 20 inches back of the uh, of the monitor so my field of view when driving is 55 degrees now I've actually bumped this up about five or six degrees I think it should be probably be around 47 48 I find five to ten degrees difference doesn't make a huge difference in terms of distortion when you start getting up 15 20 I've seen some guys running way way too high up in the hundreds for a single monitor get out of that no more than five or ten degrees difference from what the calculator says to what um, you are actually running and now the important thing here is once you get this this should never change because what this is calculating is literally how far from one side to the other this window that is your monitor is going to show you when you get in any car so once we calculate this, never, ever, ever change it until you get a new monitor or whatever. So that being said, well, how, how, how do you see? Because as you can see, a 21 inch monitor, 55 degree field of view, can't see the mirrors, can barely see the tires, can't see the wings, can't see the nose, can't judge where the nose is very well. So the answer is up here. In your F12 menu so there are six different changes that you can make so first of all what I did is I ran a lap in the car you, you don't actually have to run a lap you just have to get get in a test session and um, run your car enough so that you have a point in cockpit view so I'm in cockpit view, open up the control F12 menu and the camera edit. So then all I'm paying attention to are these six adjustments up here. So the offsets mean movement. The orient means tilting in that direction or turning. So for instance, offset X, that's moving the window back. So it's moving the window basically towards you. So I like it at about negative 0.1 for my rig. Every one of yours will be different. So the offset Y, that's moving it side to side. In a single seater, obviously not very helpful. In a prototype, it might be a little bit more helpful. Or, or a GT car. Or a NASCAR. But in a single seater, not very helpful, so I just leave it beef, at least for this. And offset X, well that's your up and down so you can move 
yourself up and down in the cockpit. Now, I'm naturally a fairly tall guy, but even if I wasn't, I would recommend raising yourself up out of the car a little bit. Um, and basically what you're doing is you're sitting up taller in the seat. Um, so this helps you actually f see where the nose of the car is much better than, uh, than before. So now we have the, the three orient buttons. So the R here is tilting. It can be useful on the ovals, but to be quite honest, I never touch this one either. P, this one's very useful. So this is tilting up and down. So this is where I like to run mine here. So what this does is it's basically tilted me down because to be honest, when it's at zero and I've raised myself up out of the car, I'm seeing a lot of sky. I'm seeing about half the screen. If, if I weren't going uphill, I'd be seeing about half the screen of sky. I don't need that much screen or sky. Instead, what I need to do is um, look down. It not only does it allow me to see the dash much better, but it also allows me to focus on the apexes uh, much better than before. So uh, that's where I like to run it. The final um, orient is um, just, so this is looking left or right. Um, again, this is something that I never change. Um, again, it might be advantageous to you on an oval, but to be honest, um, I don't see why, why it would be from this particular point of view. So basically what I've done here is um, move the window back up slightly and tilted it um, forward just a little bit. Like to tilted the top of it forward just a little bit. Um, so what that allows me to do is it allows me to see uh, where the wing front wings are better. Gives me a little bit more spatial awareness. Gives me more spatial awareness of the nose, the apexes, all that sort of stuff. Um, it also allows me to see everything that I need to see on the dash. So it allows me to see those six key messages across the bottom. Um, and the final thing, and th this is um, key, is it is when I'm sitting in my rig, my hands are exactly where the hands on the steering wheel are. So when I turn it, um, let's say 90 degrees, uh, that top hand will be exactly where my uh, real life hand is. So that it, it now seems like I am exactly where I should be in the car. So this will help you not only finding apexes, um, seeing where you are as you're coming over hills and stuff, but it also allows your body to be able to use your senses more for sensing cars around you, which is especially important in an Indy car on an oval, especially if you're like myself, running a very small single monitor and you can't use your left and right side mirrors properly. Because as you can see, I can't actually see anything out of them. Uh, so that is my methodology for setting up the camera. Um, basically the, the final thing that you have to do is uh, from this menu, once you're happy with it, once you've gotten everything where you want it, just hit save car and just save it. Doesn't matter what you call it, just save it. and It'll bring it up naturally um, the next time that you uh, open up. You know, or if, if you have multiple views, you can load it up manually if you want to as well. So like, go, uh, you can go default, you can go the normal car, you can save as many positions as you want, you can compare them fast that way, whatever you want, but the key thing is save your car, it'll load up next time. And then, so, I hope you guys um, like this video, I hope it, you find the content educational and, and you take it away and uh, makes you a better driver and uh, other than that I'll uh, see you on the track.